Hey Pat, I see you have a demonstration here. Why don't you tell us about it? Sure, Ray. So we have here um, a demonstration of Cisco's internally developed silicon photonics technology. And what we're showing here on the monitor is an eye diagram showing the transmitter uh, eye quality. And it's doing PAM4 modulation at 100 gigabit data rate over a single wavelength. And what we're showing in the demo today is that the eye diagram is so clean, uh, the transmitter is so good basically that even after 10 kilometers of propagation through SMF, there is no signal degradation. So why is single wavelength so important? Well, if you look at today's 100 gig uh, single, uh, single mode fiber standards, they're pretty much all based on four wavelengths, each one carrying 25 gig NRZ. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, to get to a high volume manufacturing level, we'd like to be able to go with a single lambda because it's going to reduce the optical complexity, it will reduce the cost of all the components, and we think this is going to be a very important foundation for future generations of, of pluggable optics at 100 gig. A foundation? How's that? Well, right now, the QSP28 is the most common pluggable optic form factor for 100 gig. But, um, you know, Cisco is a switch and router company. We like to have high density on our faceplates for the switches and routers. And in order to get to SFP, uh, it's going to take a few years. Mm -hmm. But we want to establish this single lambda optical standard now so that we have forward compatibility even as we transition to new form factors that are smaller. So is this an industry standard that uh, other companies are going to conform to? Well, there is an MSA. It's called 100G Lambda MSA. And they've already released two 100 gig specs. One of them is FR, which is two kilometers. The other one is LR, which is 10 kilometers. There's also activity at the IEEE right now to do uh, a similar spec. And will this interoperate with anything? It will interoperate with the ones I just mentioned, the FR, LR, and whatever IEEE releases. It will also interoperate with the 400 gig DR4 uh, through breakout. Mm -hmm. That's a 500 meter spec. So this will interoperate with any of these up to their respective reaches.